Hello, good morning. Today I'm in Bed Gallup. I'm going to do a walk along the Aberglaslin Pass. Here's what the whole place is based on, Gellert's grave. Um, basically the dog did his job, but uh, his master didn't see that and unfortunately killed him. But uh, if you do pause on this, it should show you the whole story. But it's terrific, I love stuff like this. If we just look to the right, there is Molly Bog. Gellert's watchtower. So, um, I love how all this sort of mysticism ties in. It's a different time, I know, but um, I love the magic of it. Right, the path is really clear, and basically, it must be about half a kilometre in now. But basically, you're right by the river, and um, it's absolutely beautiful. Great shot there of uh, Molly Bog. Um, the first real Welsh mountain that I climbed. And uh, it's still the one, though, that I just find magic. It's an amazing place, it really is. It scares the hell out of me as well. Just about a kilometre and a half in, and it's amazing, the uh, tourists have very quickly disappeared. Um, but I say it's still a really good path, so uh, that's great. Uh, it means it's just very accessible for a lot of people. Okay, about mm, 2k in, uh, yeah, the path does suddenly get a lot more rugged, so uh, just bear that in mind. Makes it fun though for me. Can you just see how clear that water is? It's amazing. Actually, on this walk, I think you spend half the time admiring the view, then the other half not trying to fall in whilst trying to take pictures. <laughs> Right, bit of fun here, they've got handrails. <laughs> See why? <laughs> wow, this just gets better. You won't believe this by the way, but that is a railway tunnel in the middle of the shop. Uh, yes, they've also built a railway through this as well. And it is amazing if you ever get the chance to go on it. It's called the Welsh Highland Railway. It goes from Carnarvon or from Porth Maddock.
I know I've not said much for a bit, but check out the path. It's all around in the middle of the picture, middle of the picture. Check this bit. <laughs> Whoa. It's brilliant fun, but my gosh. If you see the size of the rock I'm stood on, you'll appreciate that was quite a uh, beat there, hang on. Whoa! I was just stood on that. I do admit there is one problem with this wall. You get so desperate for better and better pictures, you start to think, oh, I might climb up that, or you get what I mean. But, um, oh, it's amazing. You can just see with this shot just how lush and green and natural the uh, the river walkway is it's beautiful right very nearly at the bottom of the Aberglaslin pass and um, we're going to arrive at a place called Nantmore and then basically we're going to take a left well thank you very much National Trust wow that genuinely was amazing it's also amazing how I didn't manage to fall in, but that's my fault, but I'm not joking, you have to do this. So anyway, onwards. No, so you just press the button? Yeah, done. Oh, brilliant. Uh, this is a gentleman, Mr. Yolly Williams, who I just happened to uh, be inspired to make a film by yesterday, and uh, he's enjoying the Aberglass Linus too, so uh, genuinely, this, uh, this fella's um, really given me uh, a whole new lease of life in terms of wildlife, and just made it so accessible. So, uh, Good, well done, Thank you. you. Get out there and enjoy, and all of you at home as well. I get out there and enjoy. Come up, have a glass and a cracking place. Wow, that was amazing. Now, I don't normally do this, but um, I just thought you should just see my face. How oh, happy I am having done that. Anyway, we're going to go left and follow the Snowdonia Slate Trail. But please, you've got to do that walk. Thank you very much, National Trust. It is amazing. Okay, just above the car park, there's quite a, a large path actually, and there's a railway. And basically, we're just going to follow it through under this bridge here. Right, there's a nice place for lunch here actually. <laughs> but anyway, straight ahead, right in the middle, there's even steps. Right, just give you some stats, uh, about 3k in, uh, about 300 feet up, and going about an hour and a half. I uh, say, so this is brilliant, never been anywhere near this uh, side of Bed Gellet before, so it's really exciting, and the scenery is just stunning. That's nicked, I've just realised in the middle. Going up here and to the left. I'll tell you what, this is what a map is about. I've had a look at a piece of paper, I planned a route, and I've come out and I'm just seeing the most amazing things.
two hours in, uh, 150 metres elevation. And nearly 4k. I'm loving it. Perfect. Two hundred meters up. Wonder what this must have looked like a couple of hundred years ago. Good grief. Right, four and a half K in, uh, 200 meters, uh, about two hours and 30. Now there is sort of a point here where you can either go left and you come down above the uh, Seagon copper mine, or the way I'm gonna go is straight on. We will end up at the copper mine, but we're gonna uh, loop round behind it. It's brilliant up here. And honestly, if a dragon came round the corner right now, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> We're just going straight up the middle here. Just seeing where we've come from. Amazing. Right, just about 5k, um, we're at about 300 meters. And uh, then we just come to this style. And not shabby, is it? Snowden looking epic. <laughs> we like a good sign. <laughs> okay, you can go right to Lindinas, um, which I'm not going to do today. Uh, I'm going to save that for another day because I've had a terrific time. I'm going to go left to Bagelet and to the Segan mine now, coming down from behind it. <laughs> Found the mine. I'll tell you what though, that looks pretty spooky. Ho, ho. Going in there every day. But anyway, um, 6k in. Um, it's been about four hours. I've enjoyed myself. I've not been rushing. Um, but just be wary, there's a lot of ways down uh, from the top here above the, uh, the mine. It looks like some of the um, sort of minor paths have become major and vice versa. So, um, as I say, there's plenty coming down, but just watch out which run you're on. Um, I'm quite lucky because, as I say, I'm all right with the old maps, but uh, I must admit I've been uh, sort of struggling a bit. Well, I'd just like to thank you for coming with me around Bagellet and the Aberglaslin Pass. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's been absolutely terrific. So what I'm just going to do now is just pan him round. There's the visitor centre for the copper mine. And basically there is a small road just in front of the White House there and I'm going to follow that basically back to Beg Geller. It's just about a kilometre and a half. It's on the flat. So all in all, it'll have been about four and a half hours and about 7k. But I'll tell you what, it's been terrific. Such different environments. Uh, and please, if you get the chance, uh, have a go. Thanks very much.